So you just started your computer science career and you're in one of two places. One, you either think that you know, your life is going to be a breeze because of ChatGPT or two, you think your life is going to be miserable because there are going to be no jobs because of ChatGPT. In either case, what do you need to learn in career AI? So the reason for this is because, you know, whereas with ChatGPT, you feel like you had this super intelligent, super all-knowing super all-knowing instructor or tutor, whatever you want to call it. With Crew AI, now you're going to have a team of ChatGPTs helping you out. And if you're a beginner, I don't want to make it any more complicated than it has to be. Crew AI is basically a group of ChatGPT or large language models helping you out to do a single task. The reason why I say that it doesn't matter whether you want to stay in computer science or not is because once you start working with Crew AI, you're going to benefit from it regardless of your career path. Think about the old saying, you're the sum of the five people you spend the most time with. Well, what if those five people are just artificial intelligence agents? It wouldn't matter whether you want to be a software engineer, a doctor, an engineer, a poet, a philosopher. It wouldn't matter if you had five experts helping you on that. You would just be set and be great at whatever you decided to do. And with Crew AI, you can basically do that. So if you go on YouTube and you search Crew AI, you look through the projects that people are things are creating very intricate, elaborate tools, such as the stock analysis, or, you know, people are just trying to show each other what they can do. Again, it's either automation or just a complex process. And here I compile a list of projects that you could do just to show you all the potential that you're missing out on by not learning Crew AI. Now, the amazing thing about Crew AI is that you don't have to be an expert in AI technology to be able to use it, to be able to benefit from it. So for this first example, we're basically using Cray AI to scrape the web, get sentiment analysis from different data, and just get, you know, very intricate and elaborate summaries on the data we're searching for. Here with this one, we're asking it to solve for us a logistics problem. And again, with Cray AI, since you have multiple chat GPTs working for you, basically, you can take a very complex problem. In this case, it's going to be a logistics problem. And we're going to break it down and to build something that just involved the Cray AI architecture. You could also do that. And if you didn't know how to do that, or if you had no interest on where to begin, you could also build a crew of tutors or experts, whether computer science or an AI, that could teach you all this too. Again, I don't really want to get into this. This is just to kind of like show you that the more complex a project you want to do, the more easily you're going to be able to do it with Crew AI. Now, of course, you still have to go through the trouble of installing it, running it, and learning how to use it. And I know some of those tutorials can seem a little bit advanced, and I know they can seem a little bit overwhelming. But that's why I decided to create a very simple, very easy to follow tutorial that basically shows you step by step everything you need to do to install Crew AI. All you have to do is search Crew AI projects, and you'll become extremely excited and intrigued by all the things you could do with it. Don't sleep on this technology. Start using Crew AI today. I'm going to leave the link in the description so you can start working on installing it on your own. It doesn't matter what industry you're going to, use Crew AI so you can improve any and every aspect of your future career. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.